it's finding the right uh, placement on the inside of the bolt, how I'm marking. Uh, so today I will start by drilling the two pilot holes. I'm going to fit a threaded rod through those holes. And that threaded rod will enable me to inscribe a nice uh, circle around. So it's going to be 133 millimeters. That corresponds to the 125 millimeter tunnel plus its small thickness. Um, for cutting, I will use a traditional uh, jigsaw. Uh, the jigsaw will leave a very nice cut. Um, on my previous video uh, at, the, at the crown line, I used a, um, a milling tool with a, I think it's a four millimeter uh, miller, and it created a lot of dust. The cut wasn't that nice. Um, and because this is a sailboat, we have quite, it's a quite flat surface duty. It only had a slight curvature to it, so it should be quite easy to cut with the, you know, with the normal piece. And this cutting blade has this carbide tip to it. Uh, I did do some test runs in some uh, scrap fiberglass, and it works uh, perfectly. After cutting the two holes, then we are going to move inside, which is going to be very nice because it is not that warm here, and then it's quite windy. Uh, but on the inside, I will start removing the inner liner. I'm gonna prep for uh, the next video, which is gonna be the fiberglass. So, um, please enjoy. I won't be talking that much in this video because uh, it's super windy and uh, taking the camera outside, you can't really hear me. And sorry for that last uh, video I did. Um, I have a microphone problem. Actually, I don't have one of those fancy microphones, so maybe I should, uh, should get one of those. So uh, sit back and uh, enjoy this, uh, this video and um, please, uh, please leave a, uh, a comment down below. Uh, please also hit that subscribe button right there. Thank you. And uh, you can also uh, please put a like if you enjoy this video. So uh, starting out with a uh, five millimeter drill bit. Uh, I did have some, still some room just to uh, the last adjustments. This boat is a uh, double hole design. That means that it has like an external hole and then this um, this inner liner where you have all the stringers and uh, I don't know whatever installations in. Um, it's not like a traditional sandwich hole where you have like you know a laminate and sandwich and then laminate, uh, but it has like open space between these two. And that means up here where you see the uh, threaded uh, rod is uh, through that. Um, I don't want to laminate to this because this is just like a uh, fairly flimsy uh, shell up here. So I have to remove like the the inner liner in a in a fairly big circle around. So when I do my laminate around the tunnel, I'll laminate to like the the, the structural hole, and then I can uh, after uh, scraping that take my multi tool and then do a very thin cut. From the inside, remove the inner liner, and then I should have like nice access to um, to the um, exterior hole, the structural hole. So a uh, little handy tool here. This is for scribing the, uh, the perfect circle on the top. Just just like a little 3D printed part.
here after of the first eight hours of the day is that um, I cut the two holes. That's very good. Um, started grinding on the outside. Um, just like to spend the time wisely while my battery is charging um, for the different tools. But you can have a look down here. So, two holes are cut. And here you can see more clearly the, um, the inner liner I have here. In the beginning it seemed like being quite thick. So I was like shortly considering maybe we should just laminate to this one and then fill this with like some thickened epoxy. But then I saw it down here it was super flimsy. And also up here so it's I guess this is quite variable in, um, in thickness. And of course there are like these big blobs of some um, structural um, adhesive uh, I have to remove. So the plan is that I will, as soon as my battery is charged, I can do the next one there, clean up, and then uh, hopefully go outside, test fit the tunnel, it slides in nicely. And then I think we're gonna wrap for today. Good morning, it is day two of the bow thruster uh, tunnel uh, fitting. So yesterday, I finalized cutting the two holes, uh, the, some of the grinding part, and I left off at the uh, the inner hole liner, removing that. Uh, today, I'm gonna hopefully finish removing the, the inner liner, prepare everything for glassing. Okay. So still some uh, inner lining removing to do. Pretty sure this qualifies as being the worst three hours on a boat ever. Check this out. So the entire inner liner is removed in these two, hopefully quite symmetric um, cutouts. Um, that was a lot of hard work. I mean, I had to remove. The inner lines, as you've seen before, had like these structural adhesive, uh, adhesive quite a lot of places. I've been sanding this with the um, 60 grit, I'm sanding up here with 60 grit. And now I'm going to check out the tunnel fit, how it's going to be. But before I'm going to mount the tunnel, I will um, I'll add some thickened epoxy down here. And down here, after cleaning of course. And then I think I will do some tunnel work and then later I will work on filling this void up here and then tie everything together with glassing coming from here, straight down here in this nice shelf. So everything is gonna be be sealed up once again. This is yet another milestone. Um, so what's next? Uh, besides I need to clean my face, I guess. Okay, face cleaned. Sort of. Okay, so what's next? Um, 
it's getting dark right now it doesn't show there you can see here um but i should go outside and um and scribe up the uh, tunnel so i know like where to uh, to cut it to trim it um that way i can take it out here now it's just you know i just put it there just to to check out how it looks like and then i will mix up some uh, thickened epoxy and i will put it down it's a bit hard to see now since the tunnel is here but i will fill up the void down here sorry both sides so we have like a nice um, smooth transition and while that's curing um, I can start making um, preparations for actually doing the thickened epoxy around here, make a nice fillet and then start uh, preparing for, for glassing. So uh, let's go outside. I will try to, um, to film it. However, maybe it's a bit too dark now, but at least uh, I'll show you up here how, I, how I'm going to cut it. Maybe I'll just cut it with the uh, with the jigsaw. And of course, I'm not going to cut it like to perfection. I'm just going to put like you know, um, roughly so because right now, like half a meter is sticking out. If someone walks by, they're probably going to get it in their face. Uh, just like roughly cut to size. Remember, of course, leaving the uh, spoiler lip. More about that later. Um, yeah. Okay, so I roughly marked the, um, the tunnel, and it's going to be a very rough, uh, rough cut, like size wise from the, um, the last bow thrust install I did. I found it's much easier just to, you know, make it a bit uh, proud on the on each side, and then um, when it's there, you can walk around. You can easily like go and grind a bit more, a bit off until you have the line perfect fit. So I think that's um, that's better. So I'm going to take a drill it's quite easy well I said I did it quite uh, rough and sure I did this is basically just like a uh, shorter tunnel. Then before we're going to put it in, we need to clean off the surfaces, do some uh, do some grinding with a, I think it was like a 60 grit, just to give some, some butt. Um, and then I'll go outside. It's quite dark outside now, so um, you can't really see it. I'll leave the camera in here so, uh, so you can see something from inside. That should be fine. Just remove the dust. So the viewer who paid attention might have noticed this uh, glassing that magically appeared here. Um, Honestly, I couldn't be bothered turning on the camera before. I had to go home and pick up some more supplies and I just wanted this done. Plus, it's very basic fiberglassing down here. Um, and I recommend you can, if you want to check out fiberglassing, you can check out uh, Boatwork today or Say Life. I can put, I'll put the link down in the description below. And just to show you the, um, the cutter off here. So this is the uh, external, the main hall. And this is this inner liner. As you can see, one side quite thick. Turn around, and you have this very flimsy side. So I think the manufacturer Benito here, they uh, they made all the effort in making the outer hull very um, uniform in wall thickness. But the inner hull, eh, not so much. It's more for the um, making it look nice and make the um, insulations. So um, since the uh, the hole is now cut, next step is to start making the glass work and the, uh, 
the glasswork is going to be uh, very interesting. Now it's 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 winter time here in Denmark, so I'm going to mix it in when we have some uh, some some days with some some okay temperature. Um, I'm using, of course, West systems. West systems they say you can go down to 4 degrees Celsius, um, and right now we have about six, seven, eight. So it it should be doable. So um, thank you for this time and. Um, See you in the next episode when we're gonna do some fiberglassing. Bye!